Hello everyone, today we're going to be covering linear equations, its forms, and how to switch between each of those forms. So linear equations, it has three forms, three different forms. And now number one is standard form. Now standard form is commonly in expressed in this expression, which is this equation, which is ax plus by equals to c. Now second form, Second form is slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept is commonly expressed in y equals to mx plus b. Now, in this case, m equals to the slope, and b is the y-intercept. Number three, it is called the point-slope form. Now, point slope form is a little bit more complicated. However, it does contain some valuable information. And point slope form contains one point. So it is in the form of y minus y1 equals to m brackets x minus x1. In this case, m again represents slope. And x1, in this case, represents the x coordinate. And the y1 represents the y coordinate that corresponds with this x coordinate. Now, uh, right now, after this, we're going to cover how to switch between each of those forms with this example. So let's say you're given a question. You want you are given a question in standard form, and it wants you to switch between switch to slope intercept as well as point slope form. So let's say we have the equation 5x plus 2y equals to equals to 4. And now we want to switch to slope-intercept form as well as point-slope form. So here, quickly, how do we switch to slope-intercept form, slope, slope form from standard form? As you can see from slope-intercept form, you want to isolate y. You want to isolate this y right here. So therefore, in order to isolate y here, you want to move the 5x to the other side. Now you just want to minus 5x minus 5x so therefore you get plus 2 2y equals to 4 minus 5x right here and now you want to isolate y so you want to get rid of this positive 2 so therefore you can divide 2 on both sides so this divided by 2 this divided by 2 and this divided by 2 so you get y equals to 4 equals to 2 sorry 4 divided by 2 is 2 and negative 5 over 2x. And finally, transforming that into slope-intercept form, we get y equals to negative 5 over 2x plus 2. So this is it. This is it in slope-intercept form. And next, we want to transform that into point-slope form. Point-slope form, as you know, we need a point. But conveniently, from this slope-intercept form, we notice that negative 5 over 2 it's already the slope. So therefore, quickly, we can immediately find out m. And then, because we have m, we can just simply plug in a point into this first standard form equation, which is 5x plus 2y equals to 4. And then we can find out a point to plug in, and then finally make that equation. So in this case, because it's easier, we want I would just want to find the y-intercept, let's say. So we plug in 0 for x, so we get 5. 0 plus 2y equals to 4. And now, since that's 0, we get 0 plus 2y equals to 4. We get y equals to 4 over 2, which also equals to 2. So, in the case that x equals 0, y equals to 2. So, therefore, we get the coordinate of 0, 2. And plugging that in, into point slope form, we get y minus 2 equals to m, which is, uh, which actually is negative 5 over 2, x minus 0. And uh, some tips about converting. Um, let's just do another example in which uh, we convert actually into standard form just to cover some basics of that. So let's say you get... Um, uh, y equals to 2x plus 1, and you want to convert that into standard form. Obviously, 
you want the what you want this this side to be a coefficient, and you want this side to be two x plus x plus uh b y. So in order to do that, you want to move the one to this side, and you want to move the y to this side. So how do you do that? First of all, you want to move the I want to move the one to this side. So we get so we want a minus one from both sides, and uh, we get y minus one. Actually, that's not good positioning. Y minus one equals to two x. And now I'm moving the y to this side. We want a minus y minus y. So we get negative one equals to two x minus y. And of course, it's it's obviously okay to leave this as a negative, despite it being a positive uh, in the in the form in the in the form. But of course, this is it in the standard. This is it in standard form. And uh, so, put, putting it into proper formation, it's two x minus y equals to negative one. So finally, uh, some tips about converting each thing. Is that for standard form, you want to make this the coefficient, make this a coefficient, uh, like just a simple number, and uh, you want to basically want to move both the x variable and the y variable onto the same side, and uh, if you have, let's say, this is a negative, if a is a negative, then try to make it into a positive, and uh, that would simply look better, and also slope intersect form, of course, you want to isolate this y here, you want to isolate this y here and uh, then basically you'll eventually ha get the answer and uh, point slope form of course is very useful because you can find out the y coordinate uh, like a possible point and of course you can also get the slope from both the point slope form as well as slope intercept form and also you can get the y intercept also from slope intercept form so these last two equations are going to be one of the some of the most more important ones and uh, with slope intercept being the most used most used one so yeah thank you for watching i hope you had a good time and hope you learned something from this thank you